All right, thank you very much for staying with us. This is our second hour of New Center. We appreciate your company, and I'm seeing quite a number of comments coming in with the conversations we've been having and the coverage we've also been having here on the show for the last one hour. All right, so we continue with our coverage, and we'll be getting to a very interesting conversation with a panel of guests. But for now, though, we want to put in focus something also that is very, very important to this country. And the officials of the Kenyan National Union of Nurses will today hold a meeting with government officials in a bid to try try resolve the ongoing nurses strike. The meeting is a follow-up of another one that was held on Tuesday. This week, nurses have been adamant that they won't call off their strike until the CBA is recognized and implemented. Raquel Mugai, who's our reporter, she has been on this story for such a long time. Uh, Raquel, thank you very much for joining us. So let's talk about this meeting today and also how different it is from the meeting that uh, was held on uh, Tuesday. Betty, uh, the meeting by the union, Kenya National Union officials, Kenya Nurses Union officials, and the Ministry of Health, that is the PS, Julius Kurir, and other high ranking officials in the ministry, will not be taking place today, will be taking place tomorrow at 11 a.m. That is following uh, the PS rescheduling the meeting, asking for more time to consult with other officials within the ministry. But uh, one thing is that. Um, during the previous meeting, that was on Tuesday, the meeting was just to, for the nurses and the government officials to just be clear on where exactly the nurses stand in this industrial action, whether they were going to renegotiate this collective beginning agreement. But one thing that came out clear after the meeting was that, and that was a briefing by the General Secretary, Dr. Um, General Secretary Seth Panyako, was that they are not renegotiating any of the allowances that they had earlier agreed in during uh, the in the collective bargaining agreement, but they were just to restructure. And what that means is that they're not going to change any of the allowances that they had earlier negotiated. That includes the health risk allowance, which had brought a lot of uh, problems with the SRC chair, Sarah Serem, who had actually, um, according to Seth Panyako, was that the uh, health risk allowance could not be allocated to the nurses because it was a bit high. It was a bit higher and than what was expected. And also, some of these allowances also include the uniform allowance, the health risk allowance, which, which I've mentioned, which uh, there was also the, the nursing service allowance, the house allowance, as well as one of the issues that also came out, the grading, whereby nurses are not being graded as the, NAS, uh, the Kenya National Union of Nurses allows. So that meeting uh, came out, uh, Seth Panyako stated clearly that he and the other officials are not going to, are not willing to renegotiate any, any, any of the changes there. They're not going to renegotiate any of the allowances. What they're going to do is try and uh, create, uh, justify why they actually need these allowances. So after that, they were to have a meeting, that is today, but the government has asked for more time to consult. And therefore, we do expect that even tomorrow, as they hold that meeting, probably there will be the light at the end of the tunnel, and it will be uh, a, 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 dis a service to Kenyans, actually, to just see what this nurse's strike will come to, given that so many Kenyans have suffered as it continues on its 18th day today, paralyzing medical services within the country. Betty. Before I let you go, you've mentioned, of course, the suffering that Kenyans have had to endure for the last couple of weeks, actually three weeks to be exact. Do we know how many people have lost their lives? Just to put in focus how important uh, this meeting is to end the strike today. Betty, no exact figure has been given on how many people have lost their lives. Uh, not, uh, but we, there have been rough figures and rough estimates of probably in Mombasa having lost around eight lives. In Kisi County during the demonstration, we were able to speak to a representative, an unofficial from Kisi County, stating that there were about five lives that had been lost. And that was only on the, fifth, on the 15th day. And now we are moving on to the 18th day. And therefore, these lives might have increased within that short period of time period of time, given that this is a very critical sector in Kenya. But no particular number is, has been given of how many lo lives that uh, we, have, we have lost because of this industrial action. But one thing is certain is that so many Kenyans are suffering, those who are in dire need of all these uh, medical services. And um, 
the numbers might continue rising and therefore it is one thing that is it is just a difficult time for Kenyans who are in dire need and they've they've had to dig further into their pockets to be able to afford private health care which is something that many Kenyans cannot be able to afford at this specific time because they're in of the high cost of living Betty very much Raquel Mugai for putting that into perspective uh, we'll be following that developing story for you here on KTN news so we are about to have a conversation here in studio